Dr. Norinaga, mm -hmm. Moriyama. Yes. Tokyo, Japan. Yeah. A researcher, mm -hmm. an educator, mm -hmm. a very, very fine historian, mm -hmm. and a private practitioner. I don't know when you have all the time to do mm -hmm. all those things, mm -hmm. but welcome to our interview uh, program, mm -hmm. and we'll start off in the beginning by learning a little bit, little bit about your past mm -hmm. history mm -hmm. and a little of uh, what went on in uh, Japanese dentistry history. Let's start with you, you and your family. When, mm -hmm. you were, when you were a youngster, I think you grew up in a dental family. Mm -hmm. Let me yes. hear some about your father and mother. Mm -hmm. uh, I was born in a dental family. My father was the first dentist uh, mm -hmm. from his uh, native village. And uh, I have five brothers. Oh. Uh, later, uh, two of our brothers uh, become, uh, be became dentists. And one brother uh, became a Christian minister, uh -huh. and one uh, youngest brother is now a professor of geology of the uh, local university. Well, I'm sure your father was very proud of all of you, five, oh, yeah, five yes, fine sons. Yes. yes. All right. Now tell me some more now. Don't stop uh -huh. there, because I know there's a lot more. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> It's uh, long ago, but uh, I think uh, uh, I was a very lucky boy because my aunt, Dr. Irie, later he became the um, president of the Tokyo Metropolitan Dental Association, just like the, that of the uh, New York City mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. New York State of Ohio and state of Oklahoma yes. and so on. Yes, I understand. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, uh, my uncle was a fine Christian. And uh, one day, just after the uh, war in 1946, uh, I was invited to the Bible class of uh, an American missionary uh, whose home was uh, in Oklahoma. They were uh -huh. Oklahoma. Uh -huh. And I'm very happy that uh, Dr. Hopkins uh, brought me to the uh, native places, uh, to the Bethany uh, Church, uh, now uh, uh, former evangelical, yes. now United Methodist yes. Church. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, after uh, I was introduced by my cousin, uh, young Dr. Elie, to Miss Mok, I went to every uh, Monday afternoon after school, uh, attended a Bible class, mm -hmm. and down the Bible, and at the same time, English. That's why, at that time, uh, most of our professors uh, can understand or speak German or uh, can understand a uh, read English, but cannot speak uh -huh. well. Uh, at the time, mm, oh well, uh, after I first met Miss Mok, uh, she uh, said, uh, Sunday morning, please come to the church. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it was a private home because our church was burned down in the fierce air raid in the previous year. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the private home of Dr. Ishidate, uh, the then uh, professor of uh, uh, pharmacology of Tokyo Imperial University. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Sunday morning, uh, I have attended uh, the morning service on the uh, tatami room, uh, the sliding screen uh -huh. is slide yes, out and uh -huh. open. I know. And uh, end of that year, I was baptized by Reverend Fujita of the church. Uh, Dr. Ishidate uh, released uh, his uh, private home to the church service and also uh, lent a uh, room to Miss Laura Mok, mm -hmm. uh, and I was baptized Christian 
just uh, 50 years ago. Just so just the uh, 50th anniversary will soon come to this November. You're just a teenager yes. then. Let me interrupt. Uh, Miss Mark was an American missionary yes. in Japan. Yeah. I want to make that clear. I think you didn't, didn't mention that, but we want everybody to know who she was. Now go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. Well, uh, I was then an uh, 80 years boy, uh, ambitious to be a uh, uh, research uh, man, mm -hmm. uh, and asked Dr. Ishidate, the then very famous, uh, uh, the world famous uh, scholar, and uh, uh, I would like to be a uh, research man mm -hmm. and, and retire to the dental school and go to <laughs> Uh, the old system um, high school and then uh, apply the Tokyo Imperial University. But Dr. Ishidate uh, said, uh, your school have a very good uh, scholar like Dr. Hanazawa. Uh, you can acquire already your faith in Christ Jesus. The knowledge is not beyond the science. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a uh, good faith in Jesus Christ. Right. That's the foundation of your uh, life. Right. So uh, you must come back to your school and study hard. Uh, so I went back to my uh, Tokyo Dental College. And now, uh, since then, I uh, become uh, became acquainted with uh, one of the professors mm -hmm. of microbiology. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm, of course I studied as a student uh, microbiology and uh, hygiene. But uh, someday my professor said, you have a good acquaintance with Dr. Ishidate, of the famous uh, pharmacologist of the Tokyo University. Go to <laughs> Tokyo University, yeah. down how to analyze uh, salivary calcium when uh, the fluoride was administered. And uh, uh, that was my uh, graduation thesis. Uh, and I worked hard mm -hmm. and did my uh, thesis completed. And uh, I was uh, in the first flights of, the, uh, of my graduation in 1950 from the Tokyo Dental College. And I uh, announced it in English. Uh, they were yes. surprised. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> a highlight of my life. That's wonderful. The start of my highlight. That's wonderful. <laughs> uh, during my studenthood, uh, Dr. Okumura, the then dean of the Tokyo Dental yeah. College, and also, uh, uh, of course, you know, the co-founder of uh, ICD yes. uh, was uh, uh, Dean. And whenever uh, foreign visitors come, um, even if it is uh, during the lecture, uh, he called me. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I must work as an interpreter you could help for the sure. Uh, sure. southern guests. Right. during the lectures. Right. Uh, I was very much uh, uh, annoyed, the lecturing professor, that the uh, professors uh, know that Dean Okumura ordered mm -hmm. me to interpret. Mm -hmm. So I did. Right. Uh, uh, that brushed up my English <laughs> very much. <laughs> good. Very good. Uh, mm, then, uh, mm, after uh, graduated the school, I entered the Department of Microbiology, uh -huh. uh, to which Dr. Okumura, uh, dean and also the head of the department, and young professor uh, Waichi Yonezawa, my teacher, yes. uh, was a uh, mm, very strict man, and uh, asked me uh, to learn French first because the uh, French uh, scholar, uh, French School of um, Anaerobic Microbiology, mm -hmm. uh, was uh, one of the 
major theme of uh, research room. Mm -hmm. And I went to uh, Atene France. Uh, it's a famous uh, French school in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And I learned uh, French and read the uh, uh, report of the um, Pasteur Institute uh, at that time. So now at mm. that time you're speaking Japanese, speaking oh, yeah. English, and speaking uh, French. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got three. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, because uh, Miss Mop taught, taught me uh, very good English, uh, and uh, uh, he made me an uh, uh, incentive to uh, learn the foreign language mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. And I did learn uh, French, uh, German, and uh, later uh, some Spanish. Spanish. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, that was uh, very uh, useful for the uh, archaeological and the historical yeah. uh, study. Now I'm uh, crazy for. <laughs> yes, that's, that's, yes. that's, that's, that's coming later then. Uh -huh. yeah. But I was going to say that's very beneficial in your, <coughs> in your history research because mm -hmm. yes. uh, this, is your, this is your number one right now is history. But we want to continue on with a little early life there uh -huh. and uh, oh. then we'll catch up. Uh, I was a research assistant five years since 1950, mm -hmm. and then uh, advanced to the lecturer mm -hmm. uh, of the school uh, in 1950. Uh, no, 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 uh, 55. But the end of the year, my uh, dentist friend suddenly passed away. Oh. So uh, I must raise my younger brothers. <laughs> so yes. I began practice. Uh -huh. in the, my father's office in downtown Tokyo. Uh -huh. Then, of course, I have very eager eagerness in research. So uh, I was appointed as a, a part-time lecturer of the microbiology in the Tokyo Dental College. Uh -huh. mm, sometime, uh, some days, uh, I go to school uh, for lecture. Uh, but mm, the year passed on uh, to exact, uh, exactly follow the advance of mi microbiology mm -hmm. has become uh, more and more difficult for me. More time, more <laughs> yes. time consuming. Uh -huh. So uh, after 10 or uh, 15 years, the I was the uh, role mm, of the librarian of the younger research fellows. Uh -huh. mm, that's uh, one of the uh, uh, cause of my uh, interest in the historical study. Then uh, in 1990, our school cele uh, celebrated the centenary uh -huh. of the foundation. And uh, 10 years before that, uh, I was appointed one of the uh, compilation uh, committee of the history of the Tokyo Dental College. Uh, it was completed uh, in 1991, uh, uh -huh. a very voluminous one. Yes. Uh, I uh, participated in the Mm, Japan Society of Dental History. Mm -hmm. And every time uh, I presented uh, sometimes over 10 theses annually, uh, everybody uh, became very <laughs> surprised uh, because the microbiologist uh, suddenly changed the history. He became a historian. Yeah. So, <laughs> Uh, after that, I worked and studied hard, very hard. And uh, of course, I'm practicing in downtown uh -huh. uh, that uh, every uh, uh, Wednesday, I go to my school library, yes. and especially lower book section, uh -huh. 
And my wife laughed, uh, uh, laughed that you are becoming a, a bookworm now. <laughs> 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 Spend too much time uh, with books. Yeah, uh, you must work hard for your patients. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, she was angry at that time, but uh, soon after that, uh, uh, she was very much contented that bookworm is a very safe husband. Safe husband, yeah. Uh, she proved that. <laughs> yeah. You, uh, you have a she lovely has wife. Confidence. I uh, met. I mean, we've met, yes. and you know, you're a very, very lovely wife, and uh -huh. she, she. Uh, I think she enjoys you being a historian now, I really do. And while we're talking about that, I would like, why don't we go to uh, the uh, paper you wrote on the modern Japanese history, oh, yeah. and I think yeah. that's a fascinating story, mm -hmm. and I'd like for you to uh, go back to the, what, what we call, what you call the beginning of modern Japanese dentistry after the uh, Warlords and the mm -hmm. samurais and mm -hmm. the, all the all the warring factors, and I was so interested in in finding out that one of the first mm -hmm. Japanese dentists was a former samurai warrior, mm -hmm. and uh, I'd like to hear you tell that story. Uh -huh. uh, before telling the story, okay, uh, I must uh, uh, tell about the uh, editor of the um, American Academy of the History of Dentistry, okay. Dr. Marvin E. Ling. Okay. Uh, he called me Nori and called him Mal. Uh, I first uh, contributed uh, one of the um, theses on the uh, root canal therapy mm -hmm. to him, but he rejected it is not so uh, suitable for this <laughs> bulletin. Okay. And I uh, be written two, three times, but finally it was passed. And it was in 1982 when my first article was appeared, uh, appeared in the bulletin of the uh, history of dentistry. Uh -huh. In 1984, uh, I issued uh, a second article. Then the, uh, at that time, uh, Dr. Lin is preparing his illustri Illustrated History of Dentistry, uh, which was published in 1985. Mm. Uh, he asked me the material about the uh, Japanese dentistry. Mm -hmm. So I gathered my material and translated in English and sent him. It is uh, one became a one chapter in Japan. Mm -hmm. And uh, later, uh, I and uh, two my colleague uh, translated his book into in uh, Japanese. The Japanese version was published uh, four years later. And uh, well. Uh, as to the beginning of the modern uh, Japanese dentistry, uh, I must say two things. Uh, just before the new Meiji regime, that uh, uh, revolution in uh, 1867 to 8, uh, long before that, uh, the Shogun government uh, permitted the uh, coming of the foreign people. Mm -hmm. Before that, uh, Yokohama is not the open port, uh, but around 1950, uh, no, uh, excuse me, nine, uh, 1850, the first dentist, uh, William C., just like your name, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, Eastlake uh, came to Yokohama in 19, uh, no, 18, <laughs> 18, yeah. 1850. Uh, he was the first dentist came to Japan, but uh, he stayed uh, only one or two years, then went to Yokohama, uh, no, uh, Hong Kong, uh, then to Berlin. Uh, he accompanied the Japanese 
people with him. Where was uh, he from? Where was he from? Uh, 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 yes, uh, he he is in uh, well, Tokyo. I I mean, huh? uh, pardon. What what country was he from when he? You said he first came, Doctor Eastlake. And Doctor Eastlake. Uh, came from the New Jersey. New Jersey, United yeah. States. Okay. United States. Okay, I didn't New understand. Jersey. Okay. Uh, he practiced in Yokohama uh -huh. a short while. And at that time, uh, Dr. Uh, later became a dentist, uh, Dr. Hasegawa, mm -hmm. uh, became his uh, uh, pupil. And uh, he went to, uh, with Dr. Eastlake to Hong Kong, then to Berlin. But in nine, uh, 1874, uh, Dr. Eastlake and Mr. Hasegawa came back to the Yokohama and began practice again. Uh, he, um, his son, uh, Franklin uh, Eastlake became the professor of English in K.O. University. Oh. It's a famous uh, private school. Mm -hmm. And he married to a Japanese lady. And some of the descendants is still now living in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. One of my <laughs> uh, immediate uh, senior uh, Armani is one of the descendants. Oh, uh -huh. uh, and he's uh, still practicing in downtown Tokyo. Uh -huh. The ne next people, a ne dentist, uh, was uh, John uh, East, uh, no, Eastlake. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, Dr. George Elliott and Dr. Uh, Perkins, the two American dentists, mm -hmm. came successively uh, to Yokohama and uh, practiced dentistry and also uh, taught Japanese young uh, people uh, English, no, uh, uh, taught dentist, mm -hmm. modern dentistry. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are three ways uh, modern, chiefly, uh, almost the majority of, the, of them uh, uh, came from the United States. Uh, they practiced and taught people. And then the Meiji regime made a proclamation of the dental licensure law. It was uh, 1881, mm -hmm. and since then, uh, those who apply the government uh, examination can become a dentist, uh, uh, can get a dental license. Uh, one way, in such a way, uh, the people of the uh, American uh, dentist mm -hmm. uh, became uh, one of the uh, first portion of the Japanese dentist. The second is uh, those who uh, went to America and studied dentistry and became uh, uh, an acquire a dental uh, license mm -hmm. and come back to uh, Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them was Dr. Uh, Kisai Takayama. Uh, he was, uh, uh, was born in the warrior's family. And uh, at the uh, mm, Revolutionary War against Shogun, uh, he was born in Okayama. Mm -hmm. Okayama is against the Shogun. Uh, oh. He was uh, his uh, feudal lord, uh, the family of Ikeda, uh, was uh, near the imperial family. So, imperial family and shogun fought each other. Uh -huh. And uh, Japan uh, fell into the uh, civil war, just like the 
in the United mm, States. In the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, Emperor Mi uh, Mikado's army won the victory. And then, as a consequence, uh, uh, new Meiji government uh, was established mm -hmm. in 1868. That is the first year of Meiji. Mm -hmm. Mm, the 13th year of Meiji, that is 1881, the first dental licensure law was promulgated. Afterwards, uh, the licensed dentist was born. Mm -hmm. uh, in Shogun's uh, uh, era, in, uh, that is, in Edo era, uh, there are two pros and uh, dentists of a lower class yes. uh, practiced among the people. The, the downtown in Edo or some large cities um, of Japan. But after that, uh, such a, uh, a practice was prohibited. Then uh, in 1890, uh, just I said, uh, Dr. Kisai Takayama, uh, who is now uh, coming back from the United States uh, and opened his uh, dental office in mm -hmm. the uh, midst of Ginza Street. As you know, the Ginza mm -hmm. is a center of Tokyo, mm -hmm. a famous place. Uh, still now. <laughs> mm -hmm. At that time, just, of course, it is uh, very famous as a representative center of Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he has keen needs to instruct people for, uh, to teach uh, modern dentistry. Mm -hmm. So he began a, a school uh, named Takayama Dental College. Uh, he is living in Shiba, the uh, southern part of Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And just beside his uh, home was the former uh, Spanish consulate. Mm -hmm. uh, he built that house and rebuilt uh, and uh, equipped as a school, dental school. Uh, on the first floor, uh, two lecture rooms and the upper room to operatories. Uh -huh. That is the very mm, primitive form, the, just the beginning of the first dental school yeah. in Japan. When, when, excuse me, when did the government pass the law that uh, Japanese dentistry had to come up to, to Western standards, I mean the education? What, what year was that that became a... 1981. Uh, 81. Uh -huh. uh, no, no, no. Uh, seven, uh, no. 1881. 1881. <laughs> and it began to, began to teach and, yes. and have it uh, up to Western standards. Ah, yes. Yes, okay. And, uh, n n no. No? Uh, the school began in uh, 1890. But didn't, didn't the Japanese government uh, decree that Oh, no, yeah, yeah, Modern. you are right. It was 19, uh, 1881. Okay. Uh. And that's what kind of was uh. <coughs> the push uh. to start the new type of education and uh, yes. practice. Okay. Uh, at that time, the practicing dentist the, who has license was very scarce. Mm -hmm. And so uh, young people apprenticed such a dentist. Uh -huh. and. Uh, <coughs> and seeing their uh, masters uh, practice and work hard in reading uh, uh, note notebooks uh, and apply the government e examination. Mm -hmm. uh, but no uh, formal school was uh, n uh, present mm -hmm. at that time. So Dr. Takayama began the began first that. dental school. Yeah. by his own expense. Uh -huh. But uh, it is very clear that uh, uh, whenever people enter the school 
and uh, if he is clever enough to learn dentistry and pass the examination, uh, to pass the government dental licensure, uh, licensure examination is a practical graduation uh -huh. of the school. Uh -huh. The people uh, <laughs> enter the school, clever one, uh, graduate very rapidly. <laughs> so the uh, economy of the school is always uh, minus. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. And Dr. Takarama was a very rich dentist, so uh -huh. he uh, take out his own pocket money uh, to uh, uh, keep, to, keep, to funded. keep the <laughs> keep it funded. Uh -huh. Funded. Yes. Uh -huh. Not not as expensive as it is to get an education today, mm -hmm. like many thousands of dollars it uh -huh. takes to. Of course, to uh, be it was uh, very cheap. Yeah. But uh, uh, some other uh, dental uh, schools. Uh, began gradually, uh, but most of them mm, was uh, abandoned because of the economical mm -hmm. uh, difficulty just mm -hmm. I mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, two of the school, uh, now, now uh, Tokyo Dental College, and another school uh, which was inaugurated by Ichigoro Nakahara, Nippon Dental College, the two are uh, the major dental schools mm -hmm. at the end of the Meiji era, mm -hmm. around 1910. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, licensed dentist in around 19, uh, 1890 was less than 200, mm -hmm. but uh, in 19 in 10, uh, it became nearly 1,000. Uh -huh. And in 1920, it became uh, around uh, four to 5,000. Mm -hmm. uh, when Dr. Uh, Atofi, after practicing in uh, Philippines 20 years, came back to Tokyo. Uh, before that, uh, Dr. Atofi, uh, had the lecture and address of the uh, Dr. Kisai Takayama, mm -hmm. uh, who was uh, as a representative of the Japanese government, uh, participated in the Colombian, Colombian uh, World Fair in 1893 mm -hmm. in Chicago. It was uh, the same time the uh, second international dental convention was held there. And Dr. Takayama uh, became uh, uh, greeted as an honorary vice president, and he made a speech. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Otofi, at that time, was a professor of the American College of Dentistry in Chicago, and also uh, associate editor of the Dental Living. So uh, he noticed uh, the mm, Samurai Warriors <laughs> speech from the rising sun mm, country, uh -huh. empire. So uh, in dental review, the biography and also the address of Dr. Kisai Takayama is uh, published mm -hmm. in uh, uh, 1893. And uh, uh, Dr. Otofi uh, had much interest in the uh, victory of Japan over much bigger China mm -hmm. in 1894 to 5. Uh, then he would like to uh, come to Orient, especially Japan, uh, to participate in the dental education. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. at that time, as I told you before, uh, Takayama Dental School is very, <laughs> uh, not so rich. Only Dr. Takayama, yes. uh, from his mm -hmm. pocket, 
uh, supported the school. So uh, Dr. Otofi wanted to be a faculty member, but was refused <laughs> because <laughs> Dr. Takayama Pei not so such a no, I saw no, it no, <laughs> Dr. <laughs> uh -huh. Otofi. <laughs> so he practiced uh, two years, but during uh, his uh, two years stay in Japan, he wrote, uh, observed the Japanese dentistry very uh, closely mm -hmm. and wrote several articles and contributed to Dental Review, Dental Cosmos, and so on. And uh, he made the uh, American Dental Society in Japan, uh, mm -hmm. uh, comprising some of the uh, dentists who studied in America. Uh, but uh, after the uh, US-Spanish War mm -hmm. in uh, 1898, uh, in 1900, he went to uh, Manila and uh, where he uh, worked hard for the dental edu education. Just before that, no modern dentist was present in Philippine Island, mm -hmm. but he worked very hard to the establishment of the dental school and also charitable work and uh, free dental clinics mm -hmm. and so on, beside practicing. And he wrote many articles. Uh, my way of uh, investigating a certain person is to, to collect uh, as many theses the author that mm -hmm. the person wrote himself and contributed yes. to the journals. And uh, he wrote over uh, about 20, 20 theses uh, as to Japan and Orient and the uh, dental atmosphere mm -hmm. in Philippine Island. Uh, he's very mm, enthusiastic to participate in the uh, International Dental Congress. Mm -hmm. Uh, 1904 in uh, St. Louis, uh, then 1909 in Berlin, and so, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he uh, came back to the United States in 1920, um, he stayed in Tokyo several months. And during his stay, he observed the progress of dentistry in Japan uh, during these 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, he was surprised the big progress in Japan, mm -hmm. dentistry in Japan. And he wrote uh, a very interesting uh, article to Dental Cosmos, a very voluminous uh, one. Uh, at that time, at the farewell party uh, sponsored by Dr. Okumura, uh, at that time, Dr. Okumura was uh, uh, number one uh, professor and the dean of the Tokyo Dental College. Mm -hmm. And the president uh, was Dr. Chiwaki. Mm, at that time, uh, he proposed to Dr. Atafi uh, to communicate each other, uh, the dentists uh, all over the world, to communicate each other and exchange knowledge and communications mm -hmm. and mutual friendship and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, after a uh, few years, in 1926, when the uh, six uh, International Dental Congress was held in Philadelphia. Dr. Okumura and some of the Japanese delegates attended and met Dr. Otaki mm -hmm. there. And uh, a Japanese dentist uh, uh, asked Dr. Otaki how he has become uh, of the uh, international. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
uh, mutual uh, correspondence and, uh, and organization. Yeah. <laughs> that was exactly the origin of the uh, International College of Dentists. Mm, in short. In uh, short. So. <laughs> oh, please uh, ask me some questions. Well, uh, well <laughs> uh, we, we lost out just a little bit on the, on the first dental college, dental uh -huh. school, uh -huh. with the two operatories uh -huh. and the two classrooms. Uh -huh. Didn't that eventually become uh -huh. Tokyo Dental College? Oh, yes. Well, you, didn't, you, you stopped there and didn't give me the progression from that point uh -huh. in 1890 uh -huh. up until now. I'd like just a little uh -huh. bit of history uh -huh. of the college uh -huh. there. Mm, there are two, three steps yes. uh, uh -huh. to become uh, now the present Tokyo Dental College. Yes. Uh, Takayama Dental College uh, continued 10 years. Mm -hmm. It was very difficult to continue uh, uh, financially, mm -hmm. uh, but um, one of the Dr. Takayama people, Dr. Morinosuke Chiwaki, uh, who is a very able uh, man, uh, Dr. Takayama and Dr. Chiwaki was a graduate of the now Keio University mm -hmm. by famous educator Yukichi Fukuzawa, uh, the same school. So, uh, Dr. Takayama was, uh, has a very uh, uh, profound confidence with Dr. Chiwaki. Mm -hmm. After graduated from the Keio uh, Zazomi, a very small private school, uh, Dr. Chiwaki became the journalist first. But uh, because of the accident of his uh, uh, eye, uh, he quitted the, uh, as a journalist and then went to the rural uh, middle school as an English teacher. Mm -hmm. But uh, in Niigata Prefecture, northern part of uh, Japan, uh, where he met a medical doctor, uh, one time the doctor said, dentistry is a very good future, so uh, you are better to become mm -hmm. a dentist. So Dr. Chiwaki, uh, went to Tokyo and became the pupil of the Takayama Dental College. And uh, uh, he was a very able pupil. So uh, Dr. Takayama uh, had much confidence with him. When he went to the uh, uh, Colombian welfare mm -hmm. as a government uh, uh, representative, uh, he asked Dr. Chiwaki uh, the um, management of the school. Uh, Dr. Uh, Takayama was surprised when he came back uh, almost a year later. Mm -hmm. The school uh, became very much uh, uh, in good standing because of the skill of <laughs> Dr. Chiwaki. Mm. So he, this, uh, Dr. Takayama decided to made up his mind, mm, this man is my successor. Mm -hmm. So after 10 years of struggle for uh, economical <laughs> difficulties, uh, he uh, uh, took over the school to Dr. Chiwaki. Mm -hmm. It was uh, just uh, 1900, in the 33, uh, third year of Meiji. And Dr. Chiwaki renamed the, as Tokyo Dental College. That's when it At changed. that time, uh, it was still uh, a night school uh, of a two-year um, curriculum. Mm -hmm. But he published the lecture notes and uh, sold it to the outside of the school. That was very popular and uh, many eager students of dentistry uh, who cannot uh, go to school mm -hmm. uh, learned by the lecture notes. Uh, he successively uh, issued the 
four series of lecture notes. Uh, the last one is uh, just a very big uh, uh, American uh, textbook of dentistry, or the uh, German or French, mm -hmm. and the same uh, kind of uh, series of dental books. Uh, Dr. Chiwaki boasts of that uh, just our lecture notes uh, is equivalent to that of the United States, German, and French one. He boasts. Boasted. Was Dr. Chiwaki the head of the school uh -huh. in the 20s, 1920s, uh -huh. when they built the new building? Oh, yes. He Was he the dean then? Yes. Uh, 1928? Uh, yes. Uh, before that, I must tell uh, another story. Uh, there was a young student whose name is Tsurukichi Okumura. Mm -hmm. Dr. Okumura. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a very uh, top class student. And when uh, Dr. Chiwaki operated the school uh, and became uh, the upgrade the school, he, he had many, uh, 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 he had uh, poured his utmost effort to grade up the school to three years uh, curriculum. Mm -hmm. Then in 1904, uh, he sent Dr. Okumura to the University of Pennsylvania. And uh, after two years study, Dr. Okumura uh, obtained the DDS mm -hmm. from the Pennsylvania University and come back. And then uh, the Tokyo Dental College ap applied to the government the um, qualification of the college standard. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dr. Okumura was uh, Dr. Chiwaki's brain uh, to make curriculums and so on, mm -hmm. everything, in American style school uh, system. So uh, the school was granted from the government in 1909. Uh, then uh, the graduation of the school uh, signified the dental license from the government. Mm -hmm. uh, that was continued in until the 1945, 45, just the Second World War mm -hmm. ended. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, just you uh, ask the new building. Mm -hmm. uh, in 1923, uh, in Tokyo area was uh, had experienced a very big earthquake yes. just recently in Kobe and the vicinity. Mm -hmm. So uh, majority of the Tokyo district was burned down, and uh, his. Uh, partly, um, he, uh, the then Tokyo Dental College was built in a three-story uh, uh, concrete building, and other buildings are made of wood, so it was ruined. So uh, he made up his mind to uh, build the uh, biggest dental Link. school mm -hmm. in the Orient. And he did. Uh, it was completed. Uh, the, the earthquake uh, was uh, broke out in 1923. And after that, uh, some years of uh, uh, temporary yes. uh, barrack building, uh, the new uh, reinforced concrete building. Uh, the appearance is very much like that of the dental school building of the Pennsylvania University. I imagine, I imagine, yes. yes. <laughs> yes he had, a, he had yeah. a prototype to go yeah. by. And after the new building was built, um, until the uh, Japan enters the uh, very <laughs> 
stupid war mm. was the <laughs> all over the world against. Uh, it was a golden time of the pro-war Tokyo Dental College. apologize to you. I just remembered uh, during our conversation mm -hmm. that you're the Secretary General of mm -hmm. the Japan Section for the International College of Dentists. And I didn't include that into your introduction, so mm -hmm. please accept my apology. Oh, no. And uh, because that is a very important position and another one of your, of, of your accomplishments in your very, very busy life. All right, now let's get back to uh, when Dr. Adafi uh, it confronts Dr. Uh -huh. uh, Okamura in uh -huh. about 1920 uh -huh. about uh, education and the transfer of knowledge. Mm -hmm. so let's, let's begin on that story. Well, uh, uh, long time uh, till present, uh, only Dr. Okamura was a single member of the ICD worldwide. That. I found recently the old document uh -huh. in the law book section. The old Shikwa uh, Gakko, the journal of the Tokyo Dental College. It was a history of uh, 95 years. Uh, Dr. Uh, Toru Shimamine, later now the medical, uh, the first dean of the medical dental college. Uh, became the uh, ICD member before the war. And one other doctor, uh, Dr. Uh, Kokichi Terada of Kyoto, uh, he was a graduate of the California uh, University mm -hmm. Dental School. I uh, became, uh, I became a, a member of the uh, ICD. So, uh, before the war, we have three ICD members. Uh, after the war, uh, around the, uh, the chaos, uh, uh, among the uh, defeat of the war mm. and uh, uh, U.S. occupation, uh, just around 1957, uh, several people, uh, including Dr. Shusaku Fukushima, the first dean after Dr. Kumura mm -hmm. of the Tokyo Dental College, the then uh, uh, dean of the Nippon Dental College, uh, Minoru uh, Nakahara, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Masaru Yamada of the Nippon University Dental School, and uh, senate, uh, later became senator Dr. Uh, Toshio Kashima and uh, Professor uh, Seichi Matsumiya mm -hmm. of the Tokyo Dental College, and uh, Kazuo Nagai of the Nippon University Dental School and some others uh, became the uh, member of the ICD, College at Large. Mm -hmm. At that time, yeah. the Japan section was not authorized as the autonomous section. And, uh, uh, oh, oh, we must not forget Dr. Seiji Kawabe. Mm -hmm. uh, he was uh, induced in 1956 or seven in New York City. Uh, so uh, mm, they meet together and uh, our Japanese dentists must uh, unite together to conglomerate the organization of 
ICD mm -hmm. in this country. So, uh, in 1957, uh, he met formally uh, as a member of the ICD uh, in Japan. It was not uh, uh, formally uh, uh, authorized by the um, central office. Mm -hmm. It was in 1958. It was uh, formally accepted as uh, uh, autonomous section of the ICD organization uh, from the central office. Uh, at that time, the member was about uh, 15 or 20. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, first uh, mm, president was uh, Shusaku, uh, Dr. Shusaku Fukushima. Uh, who was succeeded after Dr. Okumura as the dean of the Tokyo Dental College mm -hmm. became the first uh, representative. Uh, he was not yet uh, uh, president of the Japan section. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a very small group. Yes. But mm -hmm. uh, some of the mm, U.S. Uh, officers uh, visit uh, sometimes. Was, and, doctor, uh, was Dr. Westerdahl Secretary General then? Dr. Oh, Westerdahl? Um, no. Uh, 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 Dr. Alstad, uh, who was then... Uh, uh, he was president. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, ADA president, Dr. Yes, Alstad. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm and some others, uh, Dr. Agnew, Gordon Agnew. Gordon Agnew. Uh, such mm -hmm. uh, people visit Japan mm -hmm. uh, around that date. And uh, mm, my professor, uh, right, Yon, Dr. Uh, professor Yonezawa, became the Secretary General. Uh -huh. And I was yet uh, young. Yes. Uh, but in 1964, I was induced as a 47th member of the ICD Japan section. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm 32 years old as an ICD member. <laughs> How many fellows now in the Japan? Yeah. Now, now we have uh, 419 Good. members, Good. All, uh -huh. all including. Okay. But uh, the, the first stage was uh, to increase the membership and the uh, regulations were made uh, and on, uh, constitution and the bylaws are made mm -hmm. conform to that of the uh, college at large yes. and uh, uh, the number increases gradually and uh, at the uh, silver, silver Jubilee in 1932, oh, no, no, uh, for, uh, uh, 40, uh, 50, uh, 77, uh, the num number of the uh, member became around 300. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, next year we will celebrate the uh, 40th anniversary of mm -hmm. the founding of the Japan section. Japanese section. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, now we have around 420 members. Mm. Now, uh, I think the status of the Japan section must be uh, uh, reconstructed because uh, the development uh, has a very sharp curve, but it is a little uh, parallel. <laughs> so, Leveled off or it's going yeah, yeah. to so, okay. uh, so many uh, people drop off and so on. And uh, I'm, uh, as a uh, 
our uh, Secretary General uh, must reform the Japan section and uh, increase of the development of the membership is uh, mandatory for us now. Mm -hmm. You know, we were discussing about the membership and some of your problems there and retired members you were losing. And yes. So it... Uh, one, one of the problem, uh, I recently know that the USS section has a retired membership. Mm -hmm. But we have no such uh, constitution and bylaw. So uh, such a prominent people who uh, has been uh, uh, dean of a school, uh, professor, famous professor, retired. Uh, so, uh, uh, I brought up the <laughs> this organization, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, they mm -hmm. say. So, I now strongly thinking about the, uh, the system of the classification of the member, mm -hmm. retired member to maintain the membership uh, drop. Uh, uh, haven't you had some, didn't you, what was your 25th that you wrote the history mm -hmm. and the, and, uh, the uh, pictorial, all the pictures, and mm -hmm. was Dr. Horiuchi uh, mm -hmm. in on that? I saw the book mm -hmm. and one of your projects. And mm -hmm. Do you have any current projects going in Japan? Mm -hmm do uh, now? Do you mm -hmm. have any any uh, ICD projects? Uh -huh. Like this is a USA project. Uh -huh. You have a project going Oh, uh, yes. Uh, our section has three major projects. That's right, yeah. Uh, <coughs> in May, we have the mm, annual meeting and the convocation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then in the year end, near Christmas, we have the year end meeting. Year end. Mm -hmm. uh, then in mm, February, every February, we have the midwinter scientific meeting uh -huh. uh, regularly. Uh -huh. uh, it has uh, mm, almost 25 years we have three big, uh, three big, big. annual. Uh, programs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I was wondering if you had, if if any of the, any part of the section. Do you do you have uh, um, constituent set like different prefectures or like mm -hmm. we have different different uh -huh. districts in the United uh -huh. States? Uh -huh. Do you have different districts uh -huh. in Japan? Uh -huh. Like we have sixteen districts. Uh, one, once we had tried to the Kansai district, the western part of. Uh -huh. uh, Japan, uh -huh. but Japan is uh, not so uh, broad like so the big. United uh -huh. States. Uh, just the same uh, square miles of the California, state of California. Yes. Uh -huh. But it was very uh, long from north to south. Mm -hmm. And the uh, major uh, parts of the, uh, our member live near the metropolitan uh, Tokyo area. Yes. And mm -hmm. in Kansai, Kyoto, Osaka, and Kobe areas. And uh, in Hokkaido, uh, of course, we have members in throughout the uh, uh, 47 prefectures uh -huh. uh, scattered, a uh, few members each. But they're all under just... We one. have uh, uh, planned to divide three, four sections. Mm -hmm. But uh, if uh, such a <laughs> uh, plan was made, that uh, does not make fruit. <laughs> that has, that yeah. hasn't developed yet. Yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, in uh, Kansai district, uh, Kyoto, Osaka, Kobe, they meet uh, uh, sometimes. Mm. They have the identity of the <laughs> Kansai uh, branch, uh -huh. but it was not formally decided. Uh -huh. I see. They have no such a uh, separation or the uh, composite uh, sections. Good. Well, let's diverge a little bit back to your your figure as a historian. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that you've done some work 
down in uh, Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, the Mayan Indians, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the things that uh, the disfigurements to their oh. their uh, dentition. Uh -huh. I think that's an interesting story. If you uh -huh. would, if you want to touch on that a oh, little bit, yeah. Uh, when Dr. Akuna uh, was uh, intensive president uh -huh. in ninety, maybe it's uh, it was eighty eighty three. Yeah. Mm. I went to, uh, uh, when um, the meeting was held in New Orleans, uh -huh. I uh, flew to Merida and went to Chichen Itza and Ushmao, and the ruins of Chichen Itza and Ushmao. It's a famous Maya ruin. Mm -hmm. And I saw uh, very interesting specimens over there in the, in the rural uh, museum. And uh, then we uh, went to Mexico City, and uh, uh, they have a very famous National Museum of Anthropology and uh, uh, Archaeology. Uh, they have many uh, skulls uh, who has <laughs> which have uh, jade indices and tooth mutilations mm -hmm. and so on. Uh, I was very much interested in uh, seeing such a specimen. At that time, a book, uh, originally written in Spanish, doctor, uh, by Dr. Uh, Samuel, uh, first reached mm -hmm. a professor of the uh, UNAM, University of the uh, uh, National University of the uh, Mexico mm -hmm. City. Mm, it was translated into English also. And when I, uh, next year in 1991, uh, uh, before I joined to the uh, International Lions Clouds Convention in Phoenix, I spent 10 days all through <laughs> Mexico. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, at that time, I went to uh, northern part and also uh, to the southern uh, part of o Oaxaca. It's a very rural ruin. Uh -huh. And uh, of course, I stayed uh, three, four days in Mexico City and went to the museum and have a close look at the <laughs> Then we have another um, Indian mu museum of uh, natural history in New York City. I visited that museum once. Mm -hmm. um, so I wrote two uh, theses on the tooth mutilation in Central America. And the second one is a uh, uh, comparison of the tooth mutilation or the tooth extraction in the Neolithic Japan. In Japan, mm -hmm. in the Neolithic age, uh, the people have such a habit, a very uh, similar habit. So I made a compar comparison study. Ah. So I made up a two thesis. And when Dr. Akuna uh, came to Japan, I uh, presented him uh -huh. my thesis. He was very much surprised. <laughs> well, there, there's similarities between the two? Yes. Very much, huh? Yes. Oh, that's very, very Of course, we have no jade inde in Japan, yeah. uh, or in Neolithic Japan, that uh, tooth mutilations, uh, especially like this way, <laughs> the, uh -huh. and some two teeth. Oh, As a, a member of the community, the sign of the member of the community. Because in such uh, age, mm, other tribes uh, fought each other. So mm -hmm. my theory, my Moriyama theory, is to identify mm, the enemy, uh, uh -huh. seeing the extracted parts of their teeth. 
Oh, that could yeah. be. Yes. <laughs> like fingerprints. <laughs> uh, toothprints. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, uh, let's, come back. <clears throat> let's come back to something. We've been talking about history in the past and 100 years ago and 50 years ago and 20 years ago. Let's talk about some history that happened yesterday, mm -hmm. right here in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. which uh, I was very surprised when I began to read uh, your curriculum vitae and with your connection with Oklahoma with Miss mm -hmm. Laura Mock, who was the medical, uh, was the, she was a nurse and was a missionary to Japan. But yesterday we took a trip mm -hmm. and uh, we went to her home site mm -hmm. Uh, her church yeah. and her gravesite. Yes. And uh, uh, just in your words, I, I would like for you to, to just say a few words about that experience yesterday. Uh, I think uh, uh, what a coincidence it is uh, that I was invited to, to be interviewed in the University of Oklahoma. Uh, I first uh, received telephone from Dr. Adelson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was reluctant, but uh, next uh, uh, information uh, I now know uh, it is held in this Oklahoma University. Uh -huh. So I, uh, in Japanese, that's uh, handy. Uh, no two words, only yes. Yes. I said yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, that is a very good chance for me uh, to visit my spiritual mother's homeland. Yes, yes. And uh, I first uh, uh, came here in 1982 mm -hmm. uh, when the um, International Alliance Club convention was held in Atlanta. Uh, this year it was the site of the Olympic, mm -hmm. but uh, in 1982, uh, one year before that, when I uh, penetrated through, throughout Mexico and went to Sun and Phoenix, where the first Japanese uh, international president of the Lions Club International was born in Phoenix. And at that time, in a certain seminar, uh, one of the uh, very good-looking, uh, good-natured, I think, <laughs> uh, men sit beside me and ask me where from. I apply, uh, replied from Tokyo, Japan, and we are from, oh, uh, Kingfisher, Oklahoma. Uh -huh. He said, oh, I was very much surprised. And I talked about uh, my spiritual mother, who has been uh, in Japan uh, almost 40 years in, as a missionary from the United States. But the man, Mr. Gilliam, said, I know her. Uh -huh. Oh, I was very much surprised. Small world. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, he persuaded me, next year, your Japanese international president will preside the Atlanta uh, meeting. So, next year, you must come to Oklahoma. I'll take uh, care of you. And uh, at that time, of course, I uh, wrote a letter to nephew of Mr. Uh, no, uh, Miss uh, Laura Mock, Mr. Iris Mock, and uh, I met him here. But uh, uh, there was a quarrel between uh, Mr. Iris Mock and Mr. Gilliland, mm -hmm. uh, and I was very much confused <laughs> to which home I stay. <laughs> but the uh, priority was uh, in Mr. Gilliland's, yeah, as yeah. I stayed with him. To his, his home. <laughs> the next uh, day, Sunday, uh, uh, Mr. Iris Mock drove me with his wife to Eni, uh -huh. where 
after retirement from um, 40 years missionary work in Japan, uh, Miss Mok uh, attended. Uh -huh. uh, she was born in a little hamlet of Dover between Kingfish and Eni. Yes. And uh, I, at that time, I uh, went to the Dover Cemetery. And uh, the old, old ha home uh, where she lived after retirement. And this time also, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Hopkins is very kind <laughs> enough to <laughs> bring me from <laughs> Oklahoma City to Enid and come back to, uh, on the way back, um, we went to uh, Mr. Iris Smoke's home. Yes. And uh, then go to the uh, Dover Cemetery and old home. And I had a very uh, present, a good one day. Yes. Thanks to very your quick. courtesy. You might mention. Oh, I appreciate your kindness very, you, very much. You might mention that your wife also oh. was a student and a, yes. and a Christian with yes. the Irish. And she, this is her first trip to yes. the United States. She, uh, and uh, uh, my wife, uh, at first, reluctant to be with me to <laughs> participate in the uh, International Council meeting to such a far, uh -huh. uh, probably uh, so. Uh, but as soon as she heard, uh, I must go to University of <laughs> Oklahoma. Oh, she replied, I'm with you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, she was very glad to uh, come here. Uh, she uh, went to the um, uh, Asian countries and uh, to Europe uh -huh. uh, several times, but for the first time uh, to the United States. Yes. And uh, we are living in a very cloudy Tokyo. Yes. And the first time we stepped in the Oklahoma <laughs> City Airport, and Dr. Hopkins uh, kindly drove me to a hotel. The atmosphere was very, very uh, good. Uh, everything mm, seemed to have very neat and uh, pastoral. Yeah. Thank you. She was very glad to, <laughs> to go uh, with his husband here in Oklahoma. Well, we were so and happy. At, and uh, at the church, uh, we prepared the, how much we uh, yeah. are thankful to yes. the late Miss Laura Moore. But uh, mm, uh, I, uh, we thought that uh, time is limited. so. I wrote, uh, <laughs> she and I wrote a yes. uh, message to the uh, congregation to be read before the congregation. And uh, I said, mm, the pastor called me that I, I accompany with my wife. Yes. And I said, this is a country of lady first. So right. my <laughs> <laughs> wife will <laughs> say her greeting first. Uh, she read the greetings. Yeah. Then I read uh, the, among, among the statement, uh, of course, I was invited here to the University yes. of Oklahoma. And uh, I thought, what a coincidence it was. And uh, maybe the Heavenly Father and Miss Mock led me here. I was very uh, warmly, we are very much uh, warmly uh, greeted by the congregation. Yes, they were lovely. Thank they you. Were lovely. I, I think your wife was a little surprised when you said, my wife go first here, because afterwards you said, wife go second when we're back <laughs> home. <laughs> oh, yes. She's a lovely lady. Yes, she's, uh -huh. she's a bit of a charming, charming companion to have on our two days she together. She first met uh, Miss Mock when she was 15. Uh -huh. uh, at that time, I was uh, 70, oh, uh, 70, 
just become 18. Yeah. Mm. I saw her. Love at I'm first fairly, sight. I fell in love. Love at first <laughs> sight, yes. yes. Well, I saw her picture when she was a young girl. She's a beautiful, uh, beautiful lady. Uh, she sure is. Well, uh, you have anything that else that you'd kind of like to talk about? Anything mm -hmm. that you uh, add to? Uh, this is my impression that uh, in Japan section, the new fellows uh, have the impression that they became the new fellow to the incorporated to the Japan section. But it is wrong. I think they are incorporated to the um, ICD mm -hmm. worldwide. Mm -hmm. So Japan section is only the fraction of the college at large. Uh, I was uh, uh, Secretary General. I do want to educate the um, Japan section fellows that you are the fellows of ICD worldwide. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, next year, uh, we are invited to Korean section's uh, international convocation in uh, Korea mm -hmm. next year, September. We have a, a very, we, we shall have a very busy year next year because we have the 40th anniversary of the Japan yes. section. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Korean section, the immediate past uh, international president, Dr. Chi, yes. is very eager to invite uh, as many Japanese <laughs> mm -hmm. fellow as possible. Uh, he phones me and uh, sends <laughs> Taxes. Yeah. Uh, very often times, I'm I'm very much confused. <laughs> uh, next year, uh, I'll be very busy. Yes, yes. I know he was when he was here last year. He was wanting the wanting us to come to uh -huh. Korea also, and uh, I think he would like he would like everyone to come to Korea, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> very good, very good. Anything else you'd like to? Uh, well, uh, uh, last year uh, I was uh, in Las Vegas. Yes. Uh, just attended the um, USA section convocation. Mm -hmm. uh, I was astonished that 270 mm -hmm. new fellows yes. were convocation. Right. I received. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I see the keys. And uh, afterwards, uh, Dr. Uh, Chi said, my uh, hand, none, almost none. Amen. <laughs> Twenty, uh, uh, 270 times. Of that, was, that was our largest class that we've <laughs> ever had in the United States. Yeah. Yes. But a very, very nice ceremony. Uh, I have the vision that the Japan section must increase uh, membership uh -huh. to 500. Okay. If uh, the uh, organization of the membership is well managed, we can increase the membership. I myself think, uh, think so. I think behind your leadership you can. Yeah. They need a good leader, and you're, you are one of the good leaders by your past experiences. Uh, uh, I must forget uh, talking about uh, uh, Dr. Seiji Kawabe, okay. Dr. Yes, yes. Seiji Kawabe. Good friend. Uh, mm -hmm. He was a very uh, strict man. When I was a student, he was a part-time uh, professor mm -hmm. of prosthodontics mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. in Tokyo Dental College. Mm, uh, after I was uh, induced into the Japan section, uh, he was uh, uh, very kind uh, senior friend of mine. When uh, uh, Dr. Gabriel of Boston mm -hmm. was uh, international president, uh, I was asked to, to interpret 
him uh, in our annual conference. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Gilbert uh, was a very uh, elderly, that able gentleman, but he speaks so long hours, uh, minutes. Hours? <laughs> 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 minutes. So uh, I was tired out in interpreting his uh -huh. uh, address uh -huh. before our audience. Yes. Uh, be, uh, that's why uh, before that, uh, I have been to the round the United States tour as a study club. Yes. Of course, I asked Dr. Uh, Horiuchi uh, to visit Tufts University and uh, Harvard uh, for science. And uh, he was kind enough to uh, brought us to the clinic of Dr. Gable. Mm -hmm. uh, he has been uh, uh, a professor in a school. And uh, at that time, in 1972, I first saw the X-ray of bisection, bisection of root canal. And one, one root is mm -hmm. extracted and yeah. making a bridge. Mm -hmm. oh, I have a very uh, strong impression seeing that. And then after I come back, I tried and tried with <laughs> trial and error. <laughs> uh, it is now my routine work. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm, one of the people uh, I uh, remember very strongly is Dr. Uh, Charles Pincus, uh, uh, who was the visiting, uh, uh, visiting scholar uh, from the college at large to Japan section uh, a, few day, a few years beforehand. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was uh, asked his interpreter. Mm -hmm. uh, not now, uh, young people don't remember the name of Charles Pincus, uh, but uh, instead uh, they rem mm, remember uh, Goldberg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Ronald Gold. Yes. Uh, uh, Goldstein. No, sorry. Ronald Goldstein of Atlanta. I visited his uh, office once uh, later. But uh, Charles Pincus, Dr. Charles Pincus was the first man, first man uh, who uh, the originated the um, aesthetic dentistry uh, in the United States, I think. Uh, in 1965, he published uh, his uh, thesis in the dental clinics of North America. And uh, uh, we, uh, we have learned mm -hmm. uh, as a uh, uh, study club uh, his um, thesis. So uh, I can uh, interpret him mm -hmm. very <laughs> mm -hmm. completely. And at that time, aesthetics in dentistry was not so uh, recognized, so yes. important at, at the time of 1960s. And uh, one of the uh, things I strongly remember is the Dr. Pincus operated on the famous James Dean. Uh -huh. Oh, famous uh, young actor. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, he has uh, beaver teeth. Uh, two incisors are very long. Uh -huh. He asked us, how do you operate? And some people uh, say uh, jacket, and some people uh, extract and make bleach and so on. But his reply was to cut off a little uh, incisor portion of his two incisors. Uh -huh. mm, and he showed us the before and after his operation. And then he told me that uh, uh, I charged him uh, more before making a porcelain bridge. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Tell> more. <laughs> it, it was uh, very <laughs> 
strong impression for me. Uh -huh. yeah. You go on the, then uh, uh, two, three years later, I uh, went around the uh, United States trip and in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. He lives in Beverly Hill mm -hmm. with uh, uh, oh, very uh, rich people live. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we have one day lecture at uh, Southern uh, California Southern University. California. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And at uh, that night, we were invited to his home, in a barbecue in a very vast. And uh, uh, black uh, uh, husband and wife served us the uh, uh -huh. barbecue <laughs> in the charcoal, on the charcoal. Uh -huh. I remember uh, very reminiscently. Very nice. I remember uh -huh. now. Very nice. One last question <coughs> just occurred to me. You still go out to the college or the university or the library and you read, and I'm sure you keep up with the current education. Uh, just like a thought from you about the dental curriculum when it was two years and three years compared to the dental curriculum now. Understand? Education is available 50 years ago, mm -hmm. education available now. Can you comment on that a little? Mm -hmm. on your comparison? Uh, well, uh, to answer your question correctly or not, I don't know, but uh, uh, when in 1890, uh, Dr. Takayama uh, first made curriculum of the Takayama Dental College, it was four-year system. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first year, English, physics, and <laughs> chemistry, and so on. Mm -hmm. Then second year, the, so dental education was uh, second, se third, and fourth year. Okay. But when he opened, uh, he was, uh, uh, he applied the curriculum of the school to the government and was approved. But uh, the teacher was seven, but the pupil entered only nine. <laughs> because at that time, such an uh, uh, ideal curriculum was not uh, uh, suitable for the state of the uh, Learning dentistry at uh, that time. Uh huh. And seven teachers. Oh yeah. Nine per students. Students. Okay. Uh, That's a good ratio. So so, and so, uh, he was reluctantly uh, reluctantly changed <laughs> the curriculum two years. Oh, I to see. Just okay. to accommodate the government uh, dental licensure examination, okay. the okay. preparation for that. Then, how long did it take from that time to get back to a four-year curriculum? How many years? Oh, from yes. Uh, then, ten years later, the Tokyo Dental College started two years. But uh, three years later, the curriculum was uh, two years and a half. Oh. Then three years. Then three years. But after Dr. Okunura came back from the University of Pennsylvania, the curriculum became three years and half year preparatory course. Then um, five years later, it was become a four year four curriculum. And do you have a do you have a pre dental mm -hmm. requirement? Do you go to university uh -huh. before dental uh -huh. school now? Yeah, yeah. Oh yes. Two years. Now, now at present. We have a six-year six curriculum. Six-year six program. Year. Okay, that's not like the United yes. States. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just the same one. Uh huh. Fine. Like the United States. And uh, uh, in Meiji era, uh, the prosthodontics was called uh, uh, mechanical dentistry. Mechanical dentistry. Uh huh. And uh, uh, the ramification of the um, uh, special, uh, for instance, I mean, prosthodontics, 
the full benches and the partial benches mm -hmm. and ground bridge uh, and so on. And the uh, operative uh, was divided to the oral surgery. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> then uh, endodontics and uh, uh, oral medicine and so on. And microbiology. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I wrote the, uh, uh, the transition of the dental uh, curriculum. Uh, the mm, well, uh, the thesis divided uh, smaller and smaller. Uh, when time goes on, but uh, the conglomerated, the one uh, we see a patient. So one conglomerated point of view is necessary. I wrote a thesis once mm, because uh, the curriculum was so uh, small, div uh, divided so small part. Uh, specialized, too you want, small. Want to get them more close together. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, in my school, uh, such a effort is being um, now. Uh, the professors are uh, thinking of thinking such a problem over and over mm -hmm. in these days. Well, Lori, I guess we'll just wind it up here. Mm -hmm. It's been a wonderful time talking with you. It's my honor here. Very good. Mm -hmm.